Hey, um, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you very much once again for your interest. Um, today we would like to show you and explain the most important features of Hope system. Um, so I think we can uh, we can begin. Uh, first, uh, you can see the statistics. Um, that's how our dashboard looks like. Um, if it's about statistics, here you can see uh, the information, such information as um, the number of visitors, uh, of opens of, of the fidget, uh, how many calls you get, uh, um, you know, through our application, um, and every single information that you need to know um, if it's about the whole analytics. Um, but the most important thing is um, how to how to install our widget on your website. So um, the easiest way to do that is to find the widget tab and click here install widget. Um, as you can see, uh, it, it's uh, it's our it, it's a code of uh, of our uh, of our widget. Um, so, so after you click uh, install now, you will be uh, automatically redirected to widget code. Uh, so well, what you have to do right now, um, just you know, copy this um, the, this code and paste to your uh, paste to your uh, website code. And um, if you don't have access to the admin panel, you can send the code to the person who is responsible for your website. So um, if uh, after you know after you register to our platform, if you don't uh, have access, you can uh, you can send that to, to the person who is responsible for that. Uh, so you, you know the code won't disappear from from the from the from the panel. You don't have to worry about that. So as you see, it's it's really easy to do that to do that after you pass this code to, to the to the website code. Uh, the widget will you know show uh, shows up on your on your website. Um, after installation, um, you need to do uh, such things as um, you know uh, personalize uh, your your widget. So um, we are going to discuss you know only the crucial uh, settings. First, um, we go back to the widget tab, and after that, find the um, pencil icon, edit widget settings. Um, as you know, you can set your own SMS branding and edit uh, SMS messages. So just find SMS settings. And um, if you want to set your company name as a sender, you turn on this option and enter the brand na uh, you know, name right here. And remember to click save after every, every change. Um, to edit your messages, um, just scroll down and you will find four fields with default content. And of course, you can change them easily. And please remember uh, to not, you know, not, don't touch uh, the, the, the parameters right here because, um, you know, the, the, the red color right here, uh, because they are necessary to load the data to your messages as, uh, you know, the name, the phone number or the, um, the website, the URL address of the website. Um, if, okay, if, so it's, uh, if it's about um, the, the, the text messages, uh, that will be everything. So now let's get to call settings. First, call direction. Um, call by generates two incoming calls. I bet uh, most of you know that already, but uh, for, for the people that don't know that, um, I just informed that um, our application generates two incoming calls and you can decide um, who will receive the call first. Uh, we recommend this option, manager to client, um, since, it is more, uh, since it, it is more impressive to, to users. Uh, we have uh, also the client to manager, but as I said, we recommend the first option. Um, next, um, call algorithm. We offer two options simultaneously, uh, which means that uh, all of your manager will receive the call in the same time, of course, and in segments. Mm, it means your managers will receive the call in order which you can determine. Um, we recommend also the first option. Um, since it is more effective to our, to, to your, sorry, to, to your uh, team's uh, work. 
In here, you can um, also turn on uh, the call recording option or change the time, uh, you know, or the, the time of, uh, of the call. But of course, we recommend to, to, to uh, leave it at 28 seconds uh, because it's enough to, to, to receive a call. Uh, and uh, that's how uh, our system works. Remember, 28 seconds. Um, now, a few words about caller ID. Um, if you want to decide what number your client see during the phone call, you can choose one of the you know one of these uh, available options. Um, for example, if you want your client to um, to see the phone number of manager, choose this option. This one right here. Um, please note that if you choose any option other than a uh, call page number, the first one. Uh, we need to verify the number. That's a very important thing, uh, the, the phone verification. Um, but I will explain uh, how to do that later on. Now, um, let's go to advanced settings right here. Now first, um, show widget on mobile devices. Uh, it's really important because if you have a responsive uh, website, coverage with it, uh, widget will adjust to mobile devices and display properly. Hi, widget after working hours. Um, I would like to show one of the most useful and smart feature features of, of, uh, of our system. Uh, it calls the night mode. Um, how does it work? Um, for sure, you're able to answer the phone calls in some specified hours. Um, do you wonder what happens with call page widget after you work in hours or when you're out of office? Um, call page gives you two, option, or two options. Um, you can turn off displaying widget after working hours, but you can also turn on the, the night mode, uh, which means that widget will not disappear from your side, but it will inform your customers that you're, you know, you're out of the office, but still give them an option to order a callback for another day within your, your working hours. Now, let's get back to, to our uh, menu and find my team tab. Because I would like to uh, show you uh, how you can add managers and several day offer, uh, office hours. Uh, as I said, find uh, my team tab and click add user right here. I'll try to add some. Um, after that, of course, you, you have to fill required fields with the personal data. And remember that by entering an email address right here, um, you create a new uh, sub account and give that person access to your call page account. But I do not want to create a sub account right now, so I'm just going to um, enter the phone number. Okay, and submit. Great, done, action was uh, successfully completed. Um, now, uh, okay, we have uh, the member of, uh, of, of the team right here, but I need to add this manager to the widget. Um, to do that, I need to come back to the widgets tab. And again, find the pencil icon, edit widget settings and find the manager stuff, call operators. Okay, see the small blue um, add button? Just click on it, select the manager you added before. Uh, right now we just have to set the working hours and of course the, the office days. For example, I don't want to go to, to, to my work on Tuesday. Just click save and it's done. Okay, um, so um, let's move to the widget view. It's the most creative part. Um, to change the look of your widget, go to customize widget view. Uh, 
Um, here you can uh, do such thing as changing the color. Um, you can also change the language, of course. Button position, I will show you how to do that. As well as um, edit the text in the pop up window. Just maybe leave the English language. You see, just click and click right here and change the text. Um, if you need some advanced changes, for example, your graphic uh, as a pop up background. Um, you need to add extra CSS rules right here in this black field. Um, to learn more about it, you can just read the documentation right here. You can also change, of course, the view settings. Uh, for example, show tooltip. Tooltip. Is the little small cloud right here? They can also change the, the text in here. Um, that's the tooltip. If you do not want to display this, you can just turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, our system gives you a possibility to um, of uh, you know to, to integrate your our our system with your. Uh, for example, with the Google Analytics or with the Facebook lead ads. I think that's uh, important information for most of you. Or with you at uh, the CRM system, so you, you can also uh, integrate our uh, whole page with your CRM system. So you can just add it right here. It's very simple to do that. But if you have any, any, you know, any problem with that, you can always contact our support. Okay, now a few words about international number permissions. Um, as you know, Copic generates worldwide phone calls here in Tools tab and international numbers permissions. Um, you will find the list of uh, available countries and you can choose the countries from which you want to receive the calls, just right here. Okay, now a few words about um, calls tab. Here we can find, you know, all call history with information about, you know, the status of the, of the conversation, if the, um, if the call was sex, uh, successfully completed or uh, some of your employees uh, did not answer the phone or someone uh, just, you know, um, requested a call for another day. The day and the hour and the information about the specified lead. This is how it looks like. Now let's come back to the, to the widget we were uh, before. Because uh, our system gives you possibility to get notification about, uh, about um, everything uh, on, uh, on the dashboard. So here we have information what notification you can you are able to, to, to get by our system. Because mm, our system gives you a SMS notification, email notifications, and you can decide which one of them you would like to would like to get. Okay, and now a few words about um, the safety system of our of our you know of our application, blacklisted numbers. Um, I'm sure most of you um, are wondering what uh, what happen if, uh, if if some if some person just uh, ordered a few calls in the in the same time or just want to, to test uh, the application um, or just uh, you know or order the call back and after that um, don't say anything to the phone. Um, you can add uh, his phone number to blacklist. And um, after you add the, this number, our application won't generate uh, any you know, phone call at this number. 
The same with IP addresses. But here we have also a whitelist because uh, even your own uh, IP address can uh, can be right here uh, because uh, of uh, you know spelling uh, um, the widget uh, you know too too often. And so uh, you can add this to to the whitelist, and then the IP address won't be won't be blocked anymore. And of course, if it's about the language, it's the whole system language, you can change that. You have information about the top 10 pages uh, that your customers were uh, visited and uh, ordered the callback from your, from your website. And if it's about statistics, if you uh, integrate our system with Google Analytics, um, you have uh, more information uh, about, about, about it. I think for most of you, it's really important information. So I think uh, if, uh, if from, from the most important features, that will be that will be everything. Let's just take a look once again to our widget. We were just talking about the call settings before. Or maybe about the voice messages, a few words about voice messages. It means that after you receive, a, you know, after you answer the phone uh, by your application, you will um, hear the um, voice message. Uh, that will inform you that you know, this, um, you know, this call will be from your application. Uh, you can you can find the recording right here, just for the manager or for client also. Oh, um, um, I was I was talking about the number of verification before. Um, so I think that's a good moment to explain how to do that. To do that, just uh, find the My Team tab and click Verify. After that, you'll get uh, the code to to pass right here, and the number will be verified. So, uh, Paolo, we have a few questions from the people uh, which attend our webinars. So, basically, first question, can you show uh, how it's possible to pass our widget on the Facebook and by creating, like, uh, special links for, for callings? Of course. Just uh, find the widget tab and find the cancel mm, icon and the widget settings. Oh, sorry, that will be, that will be right here. No. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> okay, that will be direct link. So installation and direct link. So you can use the link anytime you interact with your customers and um, send it, uh, for example, um, to your, uh, to some comments on Facebook or something. And then if some user will click on, the, you know, click on the, that link, then he will be redirected to the website only with the with our pop-up window, and you know he enters the, the phone number, and then the application works um, the same way as if that person would just you know visit your website and leave his phone number in the, in the pop-up window, just uh, in the same in the same way. So uh, I'm going to repeat that again because that was a little bit messed up. Um, uh, fidget tab. Um, the pencil icon, edit widget settings, um, installation, and direct link. And the link is right here. So you can use it uh, as your signature, uh, add to your newsletter, or share anywhere you want. For example, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, I saw a few questions that you asked me on the chat. So first of all, if you're talking about Facebook integration, we hard work about this and right now it just is, 
it's just um, uh, custom links, but we works on uh, adding like a special uh, page for the Facebook and your visitors will be able to click on this page and we'll uh, call you uh, direct from the Facebook. It will be prepared, uh, I guess, in one month. So uh, we'll inform you like in our newsletter that we provide this functionality. Second questions. Second question was about uh, roaming costs and cost of connections. Uh, guys, we offered everything totally for free. So we cover all cost of connections and we uh, both of sites get uh, incoming calls. So if somebody provide their telephone number on the pop-up, the system will call, you will get incoming calls uh, from our system. You will pick up the phone and also a second uh, part. So your potential customers would, will uh, get incoming calls and uh, we covered all costs. If, for example, you you are from Australia and somebody would call you from Austria or from Canada, we cover all roaming costs. There is no cost like this. Uh, you just pay $39 uh, till the end of your life. Uh, if you're talking about uh, what so else? Hold on a second. It means that um, to, to explain that once again. So it's uh, the, the international costs uh, are without additional cost, and they are not more expensive than. Um, the calls you know in your in your own country. That's right. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, also, if you're talking about Gmail signature, uh, you can create uh, like Paula uh, show uh, show you a special uh, link, and you can you know just to to add to your name as a HTML address uh, for clicking, and everybody who would click on your name or on your for example call to action call me back in 20 seconds they would redirect on a special page and they would able to call it back in 20 seconds. They will see the pop-up window, just uh, as you have it on your, on your website. There is a pop-up window, they will be automatically redirected and they will be able to, 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 to enter the phone number and request a call back. Um, what else we need to tell you? Uh, if you want to customize our widget, for example, change the form, change the placement of the widget, uh, we give just a few options. You can do it uh, by your hand. You can uh, set up it on the bottom, uh, from the left side, right side. You can stop it in the upper uh, side of the web page. But if you want, for example, some, something special, if you want to create not a circle, but uh, for example, square, or you want to stop it in the uh, center of the, your web page, you can do it by custom CSS. I don't know if everybody of you know how to use CSS language, but basically, if you even go to the Fiverr and for ask for for five or ten bucks to do it with your CSS, it could be not a problem for you guys to customize it as as you want it. So it's very easy, and you can do it very very fast. What else you ask me on chat? Uh, if we're talking about, you know, uh, also customization, for example, so you have three customers and you have three, uh, like, managers and uh, every manager is responsible for different web page. Just, for, uh, for example, one for, for accounting, second one for law services, third one for consulting services. Uh, you can easily just create three different widgets which would help you, uh, which would provide for the special web pages uh, to your uh, concrete uh, advisors, advisors which need to answer for the questions. So uh, you can create different widgets uh, for different people uh, and you can cre create different um, widgets for different web pages. Also, somebody of you on chat asked me to, to show you guys how we can uh, exclude it all web pages. Can you want just show how we can uh, install widgets on one web page? Uh, on one one specified sub-page, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, that would be the easiest way is to, of course, find the widgets tab. It's from the beginning. Widgets tab. Find the widget that you just created. Find the uh, pencil icon, edit widget settings. I think that's the most important icon in, uh, everything in, our, in our system. Uh, widget settings, find tools tab, and QRLS configuration, and that will be like this allow or allow only. Just right here, just you know, uh, pass the, 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 the you know the address of, of the website of the specified 
um, subject you would like to uh, share more with it and just add another. Okay, Paolo, there is next to question on chat, uh, as I saw. Uh, what, will, uh, what will the widget show if all managers are busy with calls? So basically, we have two options. First, of, first one is a classical one. Widget will show that everybody is busy right now. We will call you as soon as possible. And you as a manager will get SMS with notifications that you should call us up to a potential clients. And another option, it, it, it's look, uh, can you show? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find that. Um, unsuccessfully. Unsuccessfully, I'm trying to think of a good one. Uh, okay. So uh, it looks like. So you, you can you can you can just uh, change this text, and it, it can show you uh, different text. Generally, if uh, also you don't want showing this message to your customers, you can. Uh, you can play them a voice message, and system will call you. Um, will call, will call them at 15 seconds, but it will not to human talk to them. But if you just voice message for them. Next question was uh, how it's possible to show widget after visiting five pages. We have a scoring rules. Uh, Paula, can you show where is it? we have scoring rules for our customers? Sure. Um, so after you find the widget tab in the um, pencil library and edit widget settings, you just find a find and gain to an, um, tab and right here you can see all the scoring rules that are available on, on right here. Just upgrade, select the rule. Yeah, and there are a lot of rules which you can uh, just use on our panel and uh, you know you you can just get specific customers and show you which just very available customers for you. So uh, we have also article on the blog about a uh, description of our scoring rules. Uh, if, you, if you write us on chat after webinars, we will send it directly. Uh, also, Nana asked us uh, how we count a call. So basically right now, if call lasts more than, uh, in some countries, 15 seconds, uh, in other 10, in other 30 seconds, it depends from the country. Uh, I, I should uh, see in the spe specification. And it lasts no less than 30 seconds. It, it's, we count uh, this as one call. But for example, if the calls, call lasts more than 50, sec 50 minutes, uh, for example, 55 minutes uh, or 59 minutes, we count this as two calls. So basically, every call means for us 30 minutes. And uh, we count it after minimum 10 seconds of conversation. So it means that um, you know the, the call for call page is um, if the connection lasts more than 10 seconds and less than 30 minutes, 30 minutes, right? Um, so uh, it means that if you, the connection will, the call will last more than uh, 30 minutes, for example, 32, then you have two calls. But if it lasts um, 18 minutes, you have one call. So remember, one call is more than 10 seconds, but less than uh, 30 minutes. Correct. So guys, do you have any other very good question for us? Okay, guys, if there is no question, just we want to thank you very much for your attention right now. Uh, if you still have some questions just write us on intercom in our internal chat we will try to be as helpful we have 24 hours support team uh, if you have some suggestion just to please also give us feedback we, we have also great uh, like it team who will improve everything and we provide all features that you want and guys i wish you good luck and i wish you to use call page uh, for the maximum what you can do so guys, bye and have a nice evening or day or morning. Okay, so I would like to also thank you very much and hope it was helpful and you enjoyed that. Yeah, recording will be available, we will send it. Bye. Bye.